How you doing folks? We're here this evening in Phoenix Pier. Phoenix Pier just outside of Tralee. Phoenix, that's it in the story. And we can see some of the stuff here over my shoulder, some of this blue stuff and there's more red stuff in front of me and more stuff. That's all part of a Lieber ship to shore container crane built in Phoenix. Uh, or built in Killarney, my apologies. Built in Killarney and they ship it here back to Phoenix Pier. I suppose a bit of history about Fina Pier before I tell you, I'll just give you a quick show of what I want to show you and what we're going to look at this evening. I'm involved with this crowd here. She's over there inside in the, the harbour. We'll just turn the camera for one second. You can see it over there. That yoke, that's the dredge. A barge and a dredge. I'm involved with them. They're Cunningham's. Civil and Marine, they're from Mayo. Civil and Marine, they're from Mayo. And with them is O'Malley's. Um, they're from Clare Island, just off of Mayo. O'Malley's in charge of the boats and all this kind of stuff. Cunningham's have the diggers and all that. And we're dredging, um, dredging the harbour. And we'll do a bit of video on that. You'll see the dredger, you'll see the tug carrying out the dredge. Um, there's two different barges. There's one barge, she's, I think when she's full, she's 1150 ton, I think she's 450 cubic meters of stuff. And the other one I think is somewhere in the region of, I said 160 cubic meters of stuff. So whatever that's in tons, you can be figuring that out yourself. And we're just going to swing around the camera and we're just going to give a quick look at the pier itself. The history of this pier, there's a massive, massive history in the pier uh, from trains, to the part of the, the Irish Civil War, the Irish War of Independence, it all, this was the a happening spot. So we're going to swing around the camera, we're just going to give a quick look around the place, and when you look at some of the Lieber stuff you can see behind me, this what you can see behind me is actually, um, I suppose, a jib um, part of the crane, so there's more legs down over there, we'll give a quick walk down over there as well, and uh, we'll go from there, actually we're right in front of us here now, these are the Lieber offices, um, in Phoenix, so here we go and we have of course St. Brendan as well Alright guys, that's the, the Lieber offices, that big long arm you can see there That is uh, a jib, we we'll call it, off of a ship to shore container crane They're actually heading for the Europort in, in Germany It says it there on it, we might see it in some of the, the thing I think it's today is around the, the 12th to 13th of May and I think the ship is due in on the 20th. So here we have, this is where Phoenix Pier started. This rock is actually called Samphire Rock. Above on top of it there you can see St. Brendan. I think St. Brendan is the patron, patron saint of all kind of navigators and so on and so forth. Um, and I think he's also the patron saint of I think the US, is it the US Navy? So you can see all that, that's the part of all the, the jib of the of the crane, all the way down along there. It comes in two sections all the way from Killarney and they weld them here, they weld them together. Um, yeah, that's kind of it, really I can't tell you more about that. You see the legs down the pier, um, so on. Um, inside here, in the background there, that's the Schlievemisch Mountains. So we go on down here. There is some absolutely savage boats here. It's about eight, half eight in the evening. I'd say it's around the, I'm not too sure the date. I think it's around the 11, 12, 13 to May. There, there are boats. These are more jibs after cranes. Um, usually when the ship comes in, she usually takes out um, at least two cranes, two bits of cranes together. Um, see the, these things here, their legs. Their legs of the of the crane. Um, here we have where we're walking now is an extension that was put onto the pier around 15 years ago. Um, I was fortunate enough to be involved in the the rock. I drew a lot of this limestone you can see here, working with a local contractor, Dennis Moriarty, um, back from Artford Quarries, back here to Phoenix Pier. So some of the actually the red sandstone would have originally came from Corrigheen, which is around there. And um, that's where I'm from, around there. We've done a video lately, actually, it's another story I can tell you, uh, of the mill, there's an old mill there in Derrymore. Um, but a bit of the history of Phoenix Pier. 
Um, there's a massive history in Fianna Pier. Going way back, don't even ask me when it was, I presume it's a couple of hundred years old. But going way back um, during the time of the, the Civil War, the, the, what you call it, the, uh, the oh, sorry, not the Civil War, the War of Independence. The, the locals, the local IRA actually tried to blow up the pier. Because that time we had the, what we call the Black and Tan Forces, which was the English forces, the Crown forces that were in charge of Ireland that time, right up until 1921. Um, they used to come in here on boats from Dublin, and the local IRA actually had plans um, to blow up the pier, to stop and blow up the, the walkway coming down to the pier so they couldn't come on and get off the pier, but that was filed and they never ever did. Um, what else happened here? There was the train used to come run here right up until kind of the 1970s. Um, I'll show you some of the train tracks there as well. The train used to run right up until the 1970s. Um, there was a heap of exports out of the pier. There was, of course, there was fish. There's still a lot of fish comes in here. Um, there's different, I suppose, we have a lot of Spanish fishing boats that come in here and a lot of different fishing boats that come in here over the last couple of years. And they... The, the fish is loaded onto boats and it's taken out from here or load, loaded onto trucks out of here um, then going back I suppose in the 60s and the 70s we have what we call chocolate crumb chocolate crumb used to come in here in, in the ships used to be loaded onto steam trains and taken from here over to into Tralee and onto Ratmore which is in the Kerry Cork border into the Cambrys factory um, also then we had timber, there's a lot of timber come in here. Um, they loaded again onto trucks and onto trains and onto everything and carried away into Tralee to be sold for houses and whatnot. And I suppose one of the last major exports or imports that came in here was possibly coal. Um, I remember coal being loaded here onto, onto trucks and onto the train. I don't remember the train, but I remember coal being loaded onto the trucks and when the coal um, would be loaded, I presume they'd spill a certain amount of coal off of the off of the boat and down between the boat and the pier, and it would eventually get washed up over all the way over there in Derrymore Strand, all the way in along here, and we would eventually we'd be going walk on the beach, and we would be able to pick up the coal. And we, we'd often come home with a good few bags of coal, not big, big bags now, but small message bags of coal. And you know what? It was grand. It was just something we, we liked doing. And we picked it up when it got washed in the beach and things like that. I can't think, was there any more stuff come, that get, was brought in here? Oh, yeah, I suppose, actually, behind our back there, where uh, Sam Fry Rock is and where St. Brendan is, where the Lieber uh, offices are now, at one time there was actually big tanks there and they were actually bringing petroleum here. They were bringing diesel and bringing petrol and stuff, kind of in the 70s and the 80s, and that all finished up as well. I suppose they didn't have the, the holding capacity um, for it. And they had that here. Um, and of course, these things now, this is this is the new thing. Well, it's not the new thing. Libra is in Killarney since the 1960s. But Lieber started off in Killarney exporting, um, what they were exporting, they were actually exporting um, uh, tower cranes. And the tower cranes were built in Killarney and they were loaded onto trucks and they were taken up to, up to Dublin. And they were actually exported out of Dublin by, by truck, by boat, by whatever. But I, at some stage, Lieber then started making Right, at some stage in Libra actually, that's a leg, by the way, that's one of the legs of the crane. That's one leg. That's one leg. That's four legs to the crane. Um, at some stage in Libra started making um, these ship to shore container cranes in Killarney. And um, they started exporting them out of Phoenix Pier. But as was as time has gone on, the cranes have gotten bigger. So they, in the last, I suppose, five or six years, they actually started welding the jibs here, they're, they're bringing them in two pieces and I suppose welding them here for these new super carriers. Um, here on the ground you can actually see where the railway track was. Um, you can see here where the train would have, I suppose, maybe reversed down the pier, if you can imagine. Um, reversed down the pier 
and the inside track or maybe driven down the pier I don't know maybe driven down the pier and then we came up this line and um, went back up the pier and above on top of the pier if any of you know the place it's um, where the playground is now there's a playground above there and there's a new greenway um, they would have um, they would there was actually a turntable there and possibly reversed all the way back down the pier again and all the way back down here and hooked onto the coal wagons and um, went away and back into Tralee or back maybe to Ratmore or maybe on further I'm not too sure exactly where they went from but all this stuff here in front of me again is all Lieber crane parts all destined for the Europort in Germany so if you know anyone working in the Europort in Germany or whoever been there it's up the river I looked it up I can't think of the name of it I won't even try and remember it but um it's yeah that's it but here we have Trulli Bay um rolling along here Kilfenora um in along Trulli Bay you probably can't see it but right around there that's uh, the lighthouse or not the lighthouse that's the windmill in Bruneville we have a video of that as well if you want to look up that um come back along then you have all the sleeve mish mountains back along here Trulli Bay um, all back along Sleeve Mish Mountains, Derrymore, Sleeve Mish Mountains, Camp up along and up that valley there, right in there. If you ever if you ever been in Dingle, uh, there's two ways of going to Dingle if you're on the Trulli Bay side of the, uh, the mountains. You're going to continue back along which will carry you up Connor Pass or else you've gone up that valley. That's the valley. Um, Mon Kuluk is called the Valley of the Mad People if you ever want to look that up. So. That's kind of it really. I have a good bit of drone footage. I have a bit of footage there of us digging. Um, it's going on. We've I've made the video over a course of about maybe 10 or 12 days. It's going to be a long one because I'm, we're up on 12 minutes already and we've no vid footage of digging added into it. Um, that's the two togs over there if you can see them. The green one is the, the resident tog we call it and this one here is belong to O'Malley's. O'Malley's are taking in and out the barges. Um, the Phoenix have their own lifeboat and everything. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it really. I can tell you all probably more about the pier. If you're local and you're watching this, tell me something about the pier. Um, the train ran here. My granduncle um, actually worked in the line. He worked. He was a maintenance man. Um, Ned, Ned O'Flaherty was his name. And he used to cycle out here from across the other side of the, the pond every every morning. See all the the lines here on the ground? Um, two in, is there two in? There is, and there's two out. And there was also um, another line here. There was another, there was a crane on the pier. You know, someone said it ran on the tracks, but I know these are train tracks, but it, it is possible that the crane that was on the pier at one time might have ran on these tracks as well. I don't know. I don't know. The crane was broken up and taken down in the, I'd say probably the mid 90s. It was just used, and when I suppose Labour were started bringing in bigger ships, and it's they started, um, I suppose the ships started having their own cranes, and I suppose there was really no need. The crane was just. It became kind of, I suppose, obsolete. No way, really. Yeah, so that's kind of it. And um, we're going to give one look here. These are the part of the all part of the ship to shore container crane. Uh, Christy Lucy, he's a Corkman. Christy Lucy trucks, a yellow trucks. If you've ever seen them on the road, um, they're the boys that move the crane parts. Um, you can see this. This one is going to run on rails in the Europort. Um, they also do ship to shore container cranes that are on wheels. They do a couple of more. They do they, these things over there. Did they call them the one there? We looked at them a while ago. I didn't really do too much looking. And they straddle carriers, they call them. They're for um, this is another leg here. Like, look at the length of that. Like, there's four of them per, per crane. There's three of them here at the moment. Um, the straddle carriers, they use it for moving uh, containers around the port. So like that, look at that for an interval leglets. 
That is a serious operation. Now the ship isn't in, I'm filming this. Hopefully the ship will be in at the end of making the video. And um, we'll get to see exactly what it looks like. Apparently this ship is coming in is apparently one of the biggest ships that has ever come into Phoenix. Um, do you ever watch Father Ted? If you've ever watched Father Ted, do you know the the ship that's on the on the Arden Islands in Father Ted? That ship apparently left here the morning of that the morning of the day before, and they actually ran aground on the on the Arden Islands above. And if you watch Father Ted, it's in the run up. It's on the it's on the thing of Father Ted. So here's the some of the wheels for carrying all the. The cables. This is all going to Europort, and I'll show you it's going to Europort. Hopefully, if I can get out here, it's written on. It's written on. That's Cunningham's. Cunningham Civil and Marine. Yeah, it's written on the the the, the thing over here. Look, you know, can you zoom in? Watch. Eurogate, as I say in Europort, Eurogate. So we go up here and we watch a small bit of video of the of the digger. There was a bit of a breakdown this evening and he's just dredging away here now again. Okay, this is dredging. Um she's a 520, I think she's a 550 actually. A 550 Hitachi. I could be wrong, I'll find out. Keep listening to the video and I'll tell you more. I think there's a 20, is it a 28 or 32 meter arm in it? They're digging down where we are, rooting there now. Um, I think there's about three and a half or four meters of stuff to come off of there. So the bucket is about a one ton capacity bucket. And they're digging away down. That's the big barge. She's 450 cubic meters. Um, she was brought in from Holland especially for this job. You see the, the lifeboat is over there. Tie on to the barge. The barge, the digger and the container and uh, the spud legs above. I think that's actually 10 loads. 10 loads of stuff on the barge. 10 lorry loads of stuff. So, we keep going.
roughly roughly about a ton bucket. That's the Tacto, T R K T O W for us, belong to O'Malley's, Clare Island, your South for Mayo. The other ones that they take out the barge, you've seen that you might have seen it already. Um, they take out the barge. The barge is going out roughly about five kilometers out beyond the pier, in around the back of Phoenix Island.
zipper is all the way in the water. She's nine meters down. Tell him one thing, lads. He is a serious pilot. I seen him backing into that key wall the last day, and I swear to God, he had a Mark II escort with a hydraulic handbrake. Give him a look, give him a look on YouTube or on, um, just Google him, O'Malley's 
Charles O'Malley. There's some serious gear. He's gone away. And now we're gonna move the the pontoon, the diggers up front. This is not an easy job. Um, basically you stick the arm in the mud below and you push very, very, very gently. It's not too bad now this evening. There's um, very little current and very little breeze. But there's been a couple of evenings there and she has literally been all over the place. She is a 520 axis and from the centre point there inside out to the very very end of the bucket is about 21 and a half metres. moving here now. And there are the spot legs. You don't move back very far, just barely move back enough to get the next round of digging. There are the, um, the spot legs, they go all the way down into the ground, um, there has been times the barge has been floating at the very very top and that's it, there have been times that we haven't been able to move as they've been stuck on the bottom. Where we are here in the pier, right in front of the harbour office, any of you that know Phoenix Pier, there was over 5 metres of stuff to come out here, that's usually the lifeboat bay over there which is over on the far side at the moment and um, I have a small bit of footage there of the lifeboat going coming and going so that's the ocean dawn over there she's probably the the biggest and the newest um, fishing trawler that's in Phoenix at the moment I think she's belonged to the Browns there's another one over there behind my back she's the the bike hunter the head of the pier.
night shift is Thursday night. I'll finish tonight. Got a small bit to do tomorrow. Um, it's four o'clock in the morning. There's a tech door coming in with the barge. It is, I think it's 450 cubed. I could be wrong in saying this now, but I think she's just 1,100 tons of stuff. It looks big barge, but it's not that big. Um, apparently you can get a barge up to 1,000 cubed. So that's 450 up to 1,000. That's the Trilly Bay there in front of you. Sleeve Mish Mountains in the background. T A K T O W. Tacto is the name of the tug. Follow up Trilly Bay there, straight in front of you. Okay, guys, job is done. Um, we finished the Sunday evening, the 21st. The ship came in the Tuesday, so she's a United Heavy Lift, I think they're a Dutch company, and um, this ship is headed for Europort in Germany, she's loading two cranes onto it as far as I know, and this is one of the biggest ships that has ever come into Phoenix. I think her sister ship came in a couple of years ago, but um, this, to the best of my knowledge, is one of the biggest ships that has ever come in this and a sister ship there's two cranes on it and uh, now there is other ships that have come in with three cranes two and one in the up the front um you can see the bow and the stern and uh we're gonna swing around the camera we'll just give a look at the marina um the marina is full of boats this evening um what day is today it is around the 27 or 8 of whatever you can see them. they're lifting a small box there in the very corner of the camera there and um 
it's around the 27 or 8 is a week after the digger is still over on the slipway um look i suppose a big thank you to o'malley's to and they had the tug and everything the tug is still here the big 450 barge is still here and uh, a big thank you to cunningham's and um to own cunningham and all this and uh yeah we'll go from there we'll swing the camera and we'll give a look camera swung around lads where these are all the boats some absolutely fantastic boats here inside in the harbour we dredged all that there's somewhere in the region of a hundred thousand tons has come out of here in the last couple of weeks um i hope you enjoyed the video that's um um chuck o'malley's tug inside it is the 450 barge and here's the ship she's united heavy lift she's u HL Frontier. She's an Irish flag flying up in her there at the moment, and like I said, she's heading out for Europort in Germany. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Actually, hang on a minute before we go. I'm gonna zoom in if I can all the way over to and see the digger there right in the middle of the screen as she'll focus just the way over. She's over in the slipway. Um like I said again, thanks again to Owen Cunningham, Cunningham Civil and Marine. And um, thanks again there to Chuck and Charles O'Malley from Clare Island off of Mayo. That's their tug. That's a big tug. We've seen the tug in the video compared to the ship. So that's it, guys. Thanks. And thanks, everyone. And keep subscribing, keep liking, and uh, leave a comment. And who knows, you might have more of the same to follow.